Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how you can create Hyperfine query and then use that Hyperfine query to assign it to another manager by using Query Manager. So let's get started. Let's go to General Maintenance. From General Maintenance, browse through Common Setup. Under Common Setup, you will see the Hyperfine queries. So the first thing that we will be doing is creating the hyperfine query and the one that we created we're going to assign that by using query manager later so let's get started um, click on new and i'm going to select a personal hyperfine query and name it as demo training and you can create different type of hyperfine queries uh, depending on your requirement. I'm going to create a simple one just for the demonstration purpose so that you know how you can create a hyperfine query, a simple hyperfine query. I'm going to click on primary account. So you can see that there are different filters which are available and based on your requirement you can expand any of these for example if you want to create a hyperfine query which pulls up employees based on the payrolls so you can select the payrolls or if you want to know all the employees who are active as of now in the system so you can use uh, user information and user account status and that will pull up all the active employees or if you want to look up all terminated employees then you can use that option likewise there are uh, other filters for example if you want to check the employees um, schedule which schedule group they belong to morning group or night so on and so forth so i'm going to use a, a simple one so that i can show you a quick hyperfine query how that is created and then assign it to another manager so the one that i'm going to create it create now is going to pull up employees based on their location so i'm going to select primary account the primary account consists of the labor levels and i'm going to click on location so my requirement is to see employees based on their location one of the location so i'm going to click on search and find my location here let's say sydney Once you selected your location, you'll find different locations here. So once you selected your location, click on add. And you could save as well. But before you save, if you want to see how many employees are there in this location, you can also click on test. So that test will show you if there are any employee or not. As of now, there are no employees assigned to that location uh, because that's a new labor level entry or new location created so once the employees are assigned they will be seen in this hyperfine query so i'm going to click on save and that's it that's how you can create your hyperfine query and there is your hyperfine query that we just created just to give a quick recap how we did it uh, it's pretty simple when you click on new you have an option to select the type of hyperfine query the one that is selected is personal uh, give a name and then select the filter that you want i selected primary i selected primary account and location i chose uh, my location and you can see that in the summary and uh, once you select it once you select your location you can uh, see that on the uh, the one that is already saved right here in the selected condition and then you can click on save so now that my hyperfine query is uh, created i am going to show you how you can assign this using query manager to uh, your colleague or another manager click on common setup and click on query manager in Query Manager, you will see all the hyperfine queries that you've created, which are specific 
specifically personal hyperfine query because as you know uh, when you create a hyperfine query which is public by default it is assigned to all the managers or above so the personal hyperfine query that we created is this one as you can see is this is the one that we just created and if i want to assign this to my colleague um, i can i can select that hyperfine query first and then click on assign and now i can select the uh, the manager or my colleague who i want to assign this hyperfine query so uh, from this drop down i'll just select uh, miranda alexander and click on save and you will see uh, this uh, pop-up window which says query assignment was successful and now you can see that this hyperfine query which uh, i created for myself uh, I had assigned it to my colleague and my colleague will also now be able to use that hyperfine query and uh, it will show up in the hyperfine list when my colleague logs into her account. So that was um, how you can create a hyperfine query and how you can assign it using Query Manager. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day guys.